Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from the beautiful Chattahoochee River uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. And we wanted to shoot this quick live video just to uh, give an announcement. We're updating our schedule. Actually, we're improving our schedule so that we can provide the most value to our tribe to the folks out there that uh, like to hear what we're having to say so we're uh, focused on providing more value more content to all uh, of you and there's a lot of you more quality content um, and so basically what we're going to be talking about our focus is helping uh, network marketers especially network marketers and entrepreneurs that are looking to take their business online Monday through Friday we'll be here you know we've 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 uh, we've spent years and years in network marketing and we suffered through a lot of the traditional methods that have been around and it was uh, painful forever <laughs> and ever and ever <laughs> and you know what we we decided it was time to take advantage of the techniques that are available in the 21st century uh, and yeah. so uh, you know some of these techniques the the three foot rule, talk to everybody in front of you. Throw mud to the wall. Throw mud to the See wall. See what sticks. <laughs> having, having so untargeted, in, in, Eric. Inviting your friends to your meetings and get disappointed when they don't show up. And, yeah. you know, they're just trying to be polite. And, you know, the thing is. Because you, you twisted their arm. Most people are not entrepreneurs. So, no, they're not. You know, when you when you go and talk to everybody, the fact of the matter is most of the people you talk to are simply not going to be interested in what you have to offer. Does that sound like marketing to you, really? Marketing? So instead of targeting your market, you just use a shotgun approach, and most of the people you're talking to are not interested. That's like asking someone, would they be able to do your J-O-B? Oh, I mean, it'd be like going to your point. uncle or great your aunt point. and saying, you know, I want you to come to work with me. And, you know, it's just, it's just, everybody is not money motivated and everybody is not an entrepreneur. Absolutely. And absolutely. those are not the people you should be spending and wasting your time with. And it's not fair to them either. Uncle Rufus and Aunt Susie may not have an entrepreneurial bone in their, their body. body yes. And basically what you're doing is you're pushing a rope. And that may be one reason why the statistics show that roughly 95% of the people that get involved in network marketing are gone within a month or two. Because you've begged them, you twisted their arm, you made them feel like there's something wrong if they don't do it. Like you gotta, you're basically trying to take a person and convert them to be a business owner. And everybody is not called to be a business owner. Yeah, yeah. They really aren't. That's just, I mean, we got to have somebody that's employable and then somebody who is entrepreneur. And then even when you think about the people who do seek the entrepreneurial path, uh, if you think about the number one fear of most people, what is it? It's public speaking. Public speaking. Everybody right? is not into that. So you, you bring people into your organization by twisting their arm, and then you say, make a list of your 100 closest of friends and associates. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I want you to pick up the phone and tell them that how excited you are about this business opportunity that you're involved in. And let's go ahead and get them to a meeting. Oh my God, that phone must weigh about 800 pounds to them. It does, it does. And you have to remember, you want to have people that are thinking like you. There are people out there, instead of you talking to people who are not business owners, not business minded, that are not entrepreneurs, that's a special, Entrepreneurs are a special, special breed, breed anyway. Yeah, that's right. So here you are. They're risk takers. There are people that do not think like risk takers. We have family members that are government workers, and that's great. That's what they're comfortable in. Yeah. But there are people that are not risk takers. Yep. So here you're trying to take somebody, and you're trying to convert them to a totally different mindset. Yep. Totally different. Everybody has their lane. Everybody does. And, and, you know, and I respect that. I, one time I didn't, but now I do. Now, even within the realm of network marketers, you're going to find people who are going to be extremely valuable to your team that are not necessarily outgoing. They may even oh. be introverted. And they can be entrepreneurs. Yeah. And people get involved for different reasons. Some people get involved for social reasons, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. But if everybody you bring in, you push them out there and force them to try to talk to strangers. And be like you. You know, and you know, for some people, it's easier to talk to strangers than to talk to the people they know because that can be very embarrassing yeah, when you yeah. get those weird looks like, oh, you're involved in one of them pyramid schemes, you know, yeah. for somebody that you really know and trust and look up to. That can be very tough. Yeah, so, very so here's the point 
utilizing the technology of the 21st century, we can avoid all of that mess. <laughs> you know, you could, just, you could just wipe all of that stuff out. Yeah. Now you can leverage the billions of people that are on the Internet, just two billion by, by, by itself on Facebook, and you can leverage that. Now you can build your business properly utilizing real marketing techniques. Eric, can you imagine you're spending all this time talking to people who are not business people, who are not entrepreneurs, who don't want to do it, but they feel guilty and out of guilt they just sign up with you. When you could be spending time with the two billion people, we're talking about here you are, you're trying to twist the arm of five or six, maybe 20, and you've got two billion people, and out of those two billion, you've got people that are truly just like you, an entrepreneur. There are people who really want to have a business. Right. It's like, does that make any sense? So, you know, we're out here on the uh, running trail right now, yeah. and we see people that are walking real slow, and then we see people that are running, see people that are jogging. Everybody is going at a different pace, right? And, have, and they're all out here for a different reason. They're all out here for a different reason. Some people and, want and to take care of their health. Some people want to lose weight. That's exactly, that's exactly, that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly the point. <laughs> and so the thing, the thing is, the thing is, you know, if you talk to someone that's just walking real slow and say, you know what, I want you, I'm doing a marathon. I want you to get in a marathon with me. I want you to train with me, right? You talk to the person that's walking <laughs> real slow and it's probably going to be zero interest, right? But if you talk to the person that's running, that's running real fast, <laughs> they may much be much more likely to be interested in training with That's you for a marathon. Really good. And so you have to be able to identify what a person wants, what their, what their problems are, what their needs are, what their desires are, and you're not going to be able to do that with traditional marketing. Or if you do do it, it's going to be on a one-on-one -on -one situation and it's going to take a long time. Long Long time. So the question I have for you is, if you want to build, do you want to build small or do you want to build big? Huge. If you want, to, if you want a, a large, productive organization, you had better start considering utilizing the techniques of the 21st century that you, show you how to at. leverage the internet. Ooh. And so we're, we're adjusting our schedule um, so that... Uh, we want to uh, make an ad some adjustments so we can provide the most value that we possibly the most can quality. To, to our group. Yeah. So, so we're going to be uh, airing these lives Monday through Friday Monday through between Friday. 8 and 9 p.m. Yep. So you catch us there. It may not be exactly at 8 p.m., uh, but uh, it's going to be sometime during that time. Just look out for us. We'll be there, and we're going to be you providing value every day, every weekday between Monday. 8 and in 9 p.m. Monday, Monday through, through Friday. Friday. And so if you like the value we're providing, you may want to check out our free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp. Just click the link above. Yep. And otherwise, we 10 hope... 10-day online. online. Online, yes. Online. Yes, yes. And uh, otherwise, we hope you're having a great weekend. If not, make it a great one. It's your choice. It's your choice. Excellence always prevails.